Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Slurry Perfume Reviews. So today I'm happy to be reviewing Pitbull Miami Woman. This is the second flanker slash spinoff to his first perfume which came out last year called just simply Pitbull Woman. So, well, Pitbull Woman. There we go. This is the Pitbull Miami bottle. Anyway, so this perfume came out last year, um, either last year or 2013. I believe it came out last year though. Um, I did a review of it last year for you guys. And speaking of my review, so in my review for this, I actually said that um, I didn't really like the name for the original Pitbull Woman because I wish it would have been like Mr. and Mrs. 305. And I'm going to put a little clip of that in right here. So proceed to watch. Male on Mr. 305. Because then he could have went on and made like, because like every single one of his songs just talks about like Miami and Diocho and Worldwide and stuff like that. So it would have been cool for him to call this Mrs. 305 and the other one Mr. 305 and kind of go off with like a flanker for like Miami and Diocho and Worldwide. So as you guys saw in that clip, I totally called the name for this perfume and not technically, but I, I, it's kind of weird to me that I thought of the name of this and then it came out. So anyway. So the box this time looks like this, and it says Pitbull Miami, down here it says woman. Last time it just said Pitbull woman in like the center of the box. So, anywho, it is a Eau de Parfum spray, I only have the one ounce. Um, I found this at my local Walmart, and it actually is currently available for a full size bottle on Perfumemania.com for like 55 bucks I think. So anyway, on the side here you got a picture of the bottle. On the back, you've got a picture of Pitbull and some woman who I'm not sure who she is. But anyway, it says Pitbull Miami on the top. On top, or on this top, it says Pitbull Miami. And on that top, it says Pitbull Miami. So, and then the other side just has all that. So the bottle this time looks like this. And this is kind of like frosted blue bottle. And it's super elegant. I really, really like the bottle for this one. Just because it's super nice. And I totally forgot to grab tester strip. So anyway. Love the bottle for this. I love the like the light blueness to it. I kind of wish it was like a light pink because the Pitbull Miami Man, which is the counterpart to this, is um, also blue, but it's a little bit darker of a blue. So, anyway, the note for this one, which I was gonna do a review of this when I first got it, but I wanted to get all the official notes. So once it launched on uh, Perfume Mania not last night, I got all the notes for it, which. After I read the notes for you guys, I'm going to read what uh, Perfume Mania has to say about it. So, notes for this one are um, Juicy Wild Cabasa Melon. Cabasa? I think that's. I'm not. Anyway, Juicy Wild Melon, Strawberry, Passion Fruit, and Italian Lemon. Middle notes are Fresh White Peach, Rain Drenched Gardenia, Blue Lotus Flower, and Orange Blossom with the base notes of Sun Drenched Teak, Haitian Vetiver, and Exotic Sandalwood. So with this, we're getting a whole lot of drench this and a drench that. And let me pull up Perfume Mania real quick and tell you guys how Perfume Mania describes what they say about Pitbull Miami Woman. So, Pitbull Miami Woman. Designed by Pitbull, the frosted blue expressed the softer size of sexy with transparent shades reminiscent of turquoise water and endless blue skies that, sound, that surround the skyscrapers of Miami. Each follows signature Pitbull fragrance silhouette with sophisticated sleek angles and lines to the cap. Which is really cool if you notice that like all the lines go straight up to the cap. Um, the packaging from Mr. 305 and in his hometown reflects the exciting pulse of Miami's party scene that bridges day into night. The concept, inspired by the variety of sexy playground south of South Beach, this fragrance embodies the electric energy of Miami's nightlife with a productive and seductive notes encompass the Miami state of mind, invoking the city's celebratory vibe. Pitbull Miami Man and Pitbull Miami Woman are designed to bring people together in a magnetic pulse. Pitbull says, Miami has inspired me on every level. The cultural diversity in this of uh, cultural diversity city has taught me that although people may be different, we all are we are a lot more similar than we think, especially when it comes to together when, especially when we come together to play. I wanted to capture the energy and spirit into a sense of for every man and every woman to wear. That's what Pitbull says. So, 
that's kind of my thing. Sorry, I'm a terrible reader. Anyway, so with this fragrance, I like this one a lot more than his previous one. Um, it's a little bit different from his previous one. His first one, it's a lot, like, it's a more sweet floral. Um, it's not, like, sugar sweet, but it's, like, a fruity sweet floral. This one's a little bit different. It's a little more tropical, a little more fresh. Definitely really like this one. So when you first spray it, I definitely get that melon note. Um, probably backed up more by the passion fruit and the lemon. I'm not getting a whole lot of strawberry. I wish I was getting a little more strawberry because strawberry is not a note you really see in fragrances a whole lot. But I definitely can kind of get it. But I'm really getting more of that melon and the lemon together. As it starts to dry down, though, I really get that peach. The peach is a little more of, like, the standout note in this fragrance. It's not, like, super, super peachy. But it is quite, like, it's got, you can tell that there's peach in it. Um, the gardenia is definitely adds that, like, um, floralness to it. With the lotus flower kind of coming in a little bit to add that kind of, uh, tropical essence to the fragrance, in my opinion, with the florals. Not getting a whole lot of the orange blossom. I get a little bit, but not a whole lot. I feel like the orange blossom and the strawberry are like the two notes out of this entire fragrance that I really get lost. The teak, I can definitely smell. Um, it kind of adds a warmth to the base of this fragrance. That's definitely a nice difference. Um, Haitian vetiver kind of just adds this, um, greenness to the base of the fragrance so it's not completely tropical and it's not just like your typical fruity f tropical scent. Um, the sandalwood definitely adds the warmth with the teak. I definitely do like how this works out. Um, definitely, definitely, definitely love this fragrance. Um, as you guys know, I'm going to Chicago in a couple weeks and, or like a week actually, and when I go to Perfume Mania there, I'm going to try to pick up a bottle of this just because I like this. And I want to have a small bottle that I can carry with me. And then I can have the big bottle to display or whatever you guys want to call it. So, with this, I definitely kind of the recap on it. It's a definitely like a fresh melon lemon scent at the very beginning. Not lemony like a cleaning spray. The melon and the passion fruit kind of balanced out so it's not too lemon cleany. Drying down, definitely the peach starts to strip stand out and let itself known to the entire fragrance. The gardenia adds a little bit of floral with the lotus kind of backing it up a little bit. Um, and as it dries down, you get a little more of that fruity, tropical woods that kind of give it this nice, elegant ending. With this one, I kind of would say it's a day and night fragrance. I wouldn't say it's one or the other. If anything, I'd probably lean more toward the daytime. I kind of get the nighttime to this with all the woods, but it's not overly nighttimey, which is good because with... Miami being as hot as it is, this isn't something you would, like, if you were in Miami, which I'm obviously not, but if you're in Miami, this is definitely something that would do well with, um, the warm climate at night. So, lasting power on this, I get about six to eight hours, which is really, really good, especially for it being a tropical scent. Um, it's very rare that you get a tropical scent that is not an eau de toilette, so that's why I definitely like this fragrance. So, but... I'd definitely say it's more of a summer springtime scent than anything. You could this could be your signature scent, you could wear it all year round, but I definitely feel like it is a summertime summer all day fragrance that you could spray on in the day and just top off before you go out for the night. So as always guys, thanks so so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed my review of Pitbull Miami Woman. As always guys, follow me on Twitter, Ada S Perfume and Instagram among the stars, and have a great day. Bye.